Okay, now look out the window, chin down, bring it back to me a little bit more, smile. Great. The camera shutter is tripped only after extensive preparation. Lighting and composition are critical. A professional photo session enhances features, hides flaws. The Quickie ID session is just the opposite. It's fast, but the results are often not flattering. After a year of research, Dr. Bob Brown has concluded that poorly done photos can damage the subject's emotional health, while good photos can have the opposite effect. If the portrait turns out to be something that the person doesn't like, that they may see some negative qualities in it, then those may become locked in and they may, may learn to be more that way. They may not try so hard to be different. Whereas if they find positive elements in it, it's very rewarding and reinforcing. It improves the image that they have of themselves. For the past year, 45 Calgarians who've been through photo sessions have been interviewed by Brown. This report, titled The Psychological Effects of Being Photographed, is the result. It's a sort of user's guide to what's known as phototherapy. Some of the test group went through the Quickie ID process. Others were photographed professionally. Brown says many in the latter group have been changed by the experience. Many of them have changed jobs. Many of them from one company to independent uh, business. Brown says his research shows photography can be a powerful tool and the photographer a powerful influence on the psychological health of the subject. We've had people who spend more time looking after themselves in the morning getting ready to go because they've seen a photograph that gives them confidence. Yeah, I can look great. Although it's not widely used in Canada, phototherapy is an accredited treatment. But Dr. Brown says much more research is needed before it's even considered as treatment for people with severe psychological problems. Simon Gardner, CFCN News.